As Russia continues to lose a staggering amount of equipment, the FGM-148 Javelin remains the undisputed champion of anti-tank weaponry. This bad boy is still helping Ukraine obliterate Russian assets left and right. With its long-range capabilities, fire-and-forget technology, and a powerful tandem warhead, the Javelin can take out anything on the front lines. Picture this. Most vehicles either explode or go up in flames, while some just keep rolling along like they're on a Sunday drive. Sometimes the Javelin hits hard enough to penetrate, but the engine stays intact. Just check out this clip where the crew jumps out of a tank and it keeps chugging along, only to hit two mines shortly after, taking out yet another Russian tank. That's one less for tomorrow's battle. Another dramatic scene unfolded in the Kursk region where fighters of the 47th Separate Mechanized Brigade showed video footage of Russian soldiers taking cover in residential buildings, hoping that civilian buildings would save them from attack. But under fire from American equipment, the houses turned into ruins and Russian soldiers lost any chance of resistance. This event begins with a Ukrainian Armed Forces unit receiving information that Russian forces have taken cover in residential buildings in the village of Novoivanovka on the outskirts of the Kursk region. The enemy used civilian buildings as cover, counting on the difficulty of carrying out an attack in a densely built-up area. But they didn't know they were about to encounter one of the most effective combinations of modern military equipment, namely Bradleys and Abrams, manned by Ukrainian crews. Meanwhile, the Bradleys opened fire, slicing into enemy positions with precision. Every flash on the screen is a precise strike on Russian bunkers, turning buildings into rubble. The occupiers, who tried to take cover behind walls and in basements, were literally wiped off the face of the earth. Ukrainian forces who tried to counterattack or hold their positions cannot withstand such a powerful onslaught. In the heat of battle, every second counts, and one wrong move can mean the difference between life and death. This is real footage from the front lines in Ukraine, captured by a drone, where the Ukrainian military holds firm as Russian forces attempt a bold breakthrough. Watch closely as a Russian BMP or infantry fighting vehicle approaches, weaving through the wreckage of a previously destroyed BMP. It looks like they're trying to breach Ukrainian defenses, and for a moment, it seems like they just might make it. The vehicle comes to a halt, and Russian infantry prepares to disembark, ready to launch their assault. But in the blink of an eye, disaster strikes! The Russian BMP is ripped apart by a massive explosion, triggered by a German-supplied Parm-1 thermal mine hidden beneath the earth. The impact is nothing short of devastating. The BMP is thrown into the air, disintegrating into a fiery ball of debris. Soldiers and vehicles are instantly engulfed in flames, and what was meant to be an offensive push is reduced to smoldering wreckage in seconds. But the story doesn't end there. Sometime later, another Russian tank rolls into view. Their mission? To recover the bodies of their fallen comrades. But they don't know the Ukrainian defenders have another surprise waiting for them. As they approach the site, tragedy strikes again. The tank is hit, though the moment of impact wasn't captured on video. Still, the message is clear. Ukraine's defense is as deadly as it is resilient. In war, every move counts, and on this battlefield, it's clear. Any step could be your last. The brave soldiers of the 79th Separate Amphibious Assault Brigade have shown the world what they're made of. In a stunning display of skill and bravery, they took down yet another Russian armored convoy in the Kurakiv direction. Now let's talk about the Russians. In a desperate attempt to capture the paratroopers' positions, they rolled out a whole fleet of armored vehicles, 23 units to be exact. This included four tanks and 19 amphibious vehicles, all decked out with what can only be described as massive barbecues. Seriously, what were they thinking? These contraptions were supposed to protect their gear from skidding and FPV drones. As the Russian convoy made its way toward the paratroopers, they were met with a fiery reception. The 79th Brigade unleashed a barrage of firepower, wreaking havoc on the enemy's armored vehicles and the infantry they were trying to land. In total, they managed to destroy six units of equipment, including one tank and five armored combat vehicles. Talk about a warm welcome for the invaders. But wait, 
the paratroopers didn't stop there. They also damaged three anti-aircraft guns and another tank. The press service of the brigade reported that due to the heavy losses right at the start of the assault, the enemy decided to rethink their strategy and halted their advance. The paratroopers kept the pressure on, actively targeting Russian equipment with their anti-tank weapons and FPV drones. Another Russian armored convoy biting the dust in the Kurakiv direction. The paratroopers of the 46th Air Mobile Brigade have turned this area into a no-go zone for Russian troops. The Russian troops have attempted to storm the Ukrainian brigade's territory in Kurakivka a whopping 10 times. And guess what? They brought a whole buffet of military hardware to the party. In total, they sent 11 armored vehicles to the front lines. Two vehicles, six armored personnel carriers, and three tanks. You'd think they'd have a fighting chance, right? The lightest and fastest of the bunch, the cars, somehow managed to dodge Ukrainian strikes like they were in a high-speed chase movie. But the same can't be said for their much-touted tanks. Two of them went up in flames and one got a nasty dent. As for the armored personnel carriers, let's just say they're now part of the scrap metal collection. Two of them are officially toast, and one is limping away with battle scars. Kurakivka is shaping up to be a fortress for Ukrainian forces, with Russian armored convoys failing to make any headway day after day. The metal graveyard in this area is growing. In the jaw-dropping drone footage we've got for you, you'll see a colossal Russian armored convoy attempting to push forward toward Ukrainian positions in the Donetsk region. The Russian army is at it again, trying to scatter Ukrainian firepower and drone operator stations in the area. But the 46th Brigade is ready. Seven Russian tanks and 11 infantry fighting vehicles thought they could just waltz into the paratroopers' territory. Little did they know, Ukrainian artillery and FPV drones had set up a surprise party just for them. And trust me, it's not the kind of party you want to crash. As the convoy rolls in, the Ukrainian forces spring their trap. They target the front armored vehicles first. A classic move. Why? Because once those frontliners are taken out, the rest of the convoy is left scrambling like a cat on a hot tin roof. Thanks to the sharp eyes of the FPV drone operators, two Russian tanks and five BMPs were sent packing, permanently. And let's not forget, two more damaged tanks limped away, while 28 Russian troops decided to take an extended vacation from their base. The Ukrainian 46th Brigade continues to hold the line with skill and precision, turning the tide against a much larger force. This is just another chapter in the ongoing saga of bravery and resilience.